Welcome to the video lessons about permutation and combinations. First, I am going to show simple examples to give an idea about permutation and combination. I have three cards. I would like to create two letter words by using uh, two cards at a time from these three cards. How many different two letter words can I make? I can create these six words. A, B, B, A, A, C, C, A, B, C, C, B. So, there are six ways I can create words from these two letters. This is a uh, permutation problem example. Second example. I have two extra tickets for a concert. I would like to invite two friends of mine, but I have three friends. They all know they all want to go to the concert. The names of my friends, Albert, Brian, and Chris. I can only invite two of them. What can I do? I have two extra tickets only. How many ways can I select two friends of mine from Albert, Brian and Chris? Let me use just first letter of two names for simplicity. Okay, for this A, for this B, for this C. When we look previous example, word A, B and B, A different because order is important previous one was permutation. In this case, A, B and B, A same, so I take only one. So, I take only one. I take only one. So, this second example is combination example. Combination always, so in permutation there are six ways, but in combination there are three ways. So, combination always produce fewer alternatives than permutations do. Order is important in permutations since the letter A, B and B, A are not same. In these two examples, I use small numbers just to show the concept. If I use larger numbers, it is difficult to solve this way. It will be too much consuming. A systematic method has to be used to solve problems with larger numbers. I am going to show another example with larger numbers. I am going to give another example. Question. How many different four letter words can be created from ten distinct letters? Letters are given below. First of all, to solve this problem, we need to decide if this question is related by permutation or combination. This problem is related with permutation because order is important. For example, A, B, C, D, B, A, C, D. So A, B, C, D, word A, B, C, D, word B, A, C, D are not same. So order is important. Okay, I will use several methods to solve this problem. The first method, okay, I will make four boxes, one, two, three, four. So, because there are four letters, so this is the word. For the first box, first letter, there are ten choices. So I can, I can choose one of them. So, ten choices, for the first box, first letter. For the second, because one is gone, nine is remained, there are nine choices. For the third one, eight choices. The last one, seven. So how can I calculate? Ten times nine times eight times seven. I get 5,040 ways to construct a word by these four uh, by using four letters at a time.
Okay. So method two, uh, I, will, I would like to create permutation formula. First of all, what is permutation? Permutation, different order of arrangements of R items taken at a time from the end distinct item. In our example, R is 4, N is 10, because we have available N distinct 10 items and we take 4 items at a time, so R equal 4. Okay, so if I use this one, what is this? 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 over 1 basically. Okay, let's multiply both sides by this. Numerator and denominator. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Why I multiply by same numbers? Okay, I will show you now. Okay, from 10 to 1 we multiply. This means 10 factorial. From 6 to 1, 6 factorial. Okay, I can write 10 factorial is 10 factorial over 10 minus 4 factorial. So, as you see, 10 is n factorial, r is 4, n minus r factorial. So, this is the permutation formula. We use two different notation. One notation n comma r, another n r. This is mostly for calculator. Third way to do this problem is to use uh, calculator. Okay. So how can we do this? This is the problem basically p and r so ours is 10 p 4 first enter 10 in your calculator then p and r after that you enter 4 then equal sign you will get 5040 ways. Okay, another problem. How many ways can you set up a committee of four people from ten people? Those are the people A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. First of all, we should decide if this a permutation or a combination problem. Because order is not important. Basically, Committee A B C D B A C D. So committee of people, members A B C D or members B A C D will be the same. So that is why order is not important. This is a combination problem. As we did before, this is the permutation formula. Okay. So n factor here, n minus r factor here. Okay, how can we construct a combination formula? Okay, let's say we take four people um, from these ten people. Those are four people. In permutation, order is important, so we will have so many alternatives. B, A, C, D, C, A, B, D, like this. How many alternatives we have? Basically, if we use this formula, basically 4 from 4. So 4, we arrange 
four people. Then we use R, R. So R factorial, R minus R factorial, denominator one, so R factorial. Basically R factorial, in our case, four factorial, so four times three times two times one, will be 24 ways. So, for these four ABCD people ABCD, we have 24 choices, ways for permutation. But combination, there are only one. So, basically, what I get, combination formula must be this divided by this, P, N, R, P, R, R. Okay. What is P, N, R? This one, N factorial over N minus R factorial. This is R factorial. So I get N factorial, R factorial times N minus R factorial. Yes, this is the combination formula. If we apply this formula for our problem, for our problem n is 10, r equal 4, so c 10 4 equal 10 factorial, okay, 4 factorial, 10 minus 4 factorial, basically. 10 factorial, 4 factorial, 6 factorial. So, if you if you have factorial notation in your calculator, basically like this, then you can enter 10 factorial divided 4 and 6 factorial, then you will get 210 for the answer. Okay. But, there are some advanced uh, calculators, in fact, most of them has. You can only, okay, I am erasing this. You can just enter uh, 10 first, and N C R, then press enter 4, then enter equal, you will get 210. This is the another way. Okay, let's say you don't have calculator or you have very, very simple calculator. So how can we solve this? You don't have scientific calculator. So when we take this here, okay, C10 4 equal 10 factorial, 4 factorial, 6 factorial. So 10 factorial basically 10, 9, 6 is 10 factorial, 4 factorial, 4, 3, 2, 1, 6 factorial, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I can cancel this by this. Okay, 2 times 4, 8, I cancel this. 3 and 9, I get 3. So when I multiply 10 times 3 times 7, I get 210 again. Okay, as a conclusion, first of all, if you get the, those kind of problem, it is very important to decide if it is permutation problem or combination problem. So you have to decide this is very important. Okay, thank you very much watching my video. Thanks.